Hi guys, and welcome to Bunches of Lunches. Today I'm sharing lunch ideas for teens. So unlike my elementary school lunches, these ones are a little bit more adventurous, there's definitely more food in the lunch, and all of these ideas have a DIY aspect to them. So let's get started. Lunch idea number one is my take on a good old Cobb salad. I'm starting with some mixed greens, and I'm also throwing in some baby spinach. To this, I'm going to slice up one hard-boiled egg, and you'll notice I'm gonna keep most of these components separate so they won't get all soggy and weird. This is the type of salad you're gonna to wanna to build right before you eat it. In the back corner, I'm gonna add some shredded cheddar cheese. In my separate container, I'm gonna throw in lots of veggies. I have some carrots and some cucumbers. To go along with this salad, I also thought a little bit of bacon would be delicious. And to keep it easy, this is the pre-cooked bacon. All you have to do is microwave it. It comes out perfect every time. It's not messy, it's not greasy, it's really convenient. For today's lunch, I'm also using this really cool new container. This is a stackable container and you can have two to three compartments and they all fit together. In this first container, I have a new snack. This is the Boom Chicka Pop Tropical Trail Mix. It has yogurt covered popcorn, banana chips, it has mango, pineapple, cashews, and coconut. Yum, that sounds delicious. Next to that, I'm gonna throw in some grapes. And I am gonna add a panda pick just for fun. I think teenagers would definitely still like these. Now, I really wanted to add some croutons to this salad, but I didn't have any. So instead, I took one piece of sourdough bread and I cubed it up. I added a little bit of olive oil, some salt and pepper, and popped it into the oven for five minutes. Next, I'm gonna throw in a few chunks of avocado. I love avocado on salads, but to keep this from turning brown, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lime juice all over it. And last but not least, I'm also gonna add a Greek yogurt drink. This is in the berry flavor. For our salad dressing today, I'm just gonna pack a little bit of this yogurt-based ranch. Now, even though I'm not a teen, I think today's lunch looks delicious. Next up, I have lunch idea number two, which is going to be some yummy DIY chicken tacos. I'm gonna start by adding about one cup of leftover chicken meat to a bowl, and to this I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of mild salsa, followed by about a tablespoon of this ranch dressing. And for some added flavor, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of taco seasoning. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this into the microwave for about one minute or until it's nice and hot. While I prepared the chicken, I also preheated this thermos. So now I need to dump out the boiling hot water before I can add the chicken in. This will definitely help keep the chicken hot for a long time. For our tacos today, I'm going with some mini street size flour tortillas. They're the perfect size for a lunch box and they're not gonna break like a hard shell taco might. Oh yes, and I did go ahead and put some plastic wrap around these so that they won't get soggy from our other ingredients. Because next I'm going to add in lots of chopped tomato followed by lots of shredded lettuce. In this back corner, I'm gonna add some shredded cheddar cheese. And then in this small container, I have a little bit of sour cream. For the fruit today, I'm going to add a little bit of fresh pineapple with a cute little panda pick, of course. I'm also gonna add some cucumber slices. In this separate container, I'm also gonna add some avocado. Again, I put some lime juice on there to keep it from turning brown. And then I'm also including this really yummy yogurt pouch. This is not applesauce, it's not baby food, it's definitely for older kids. This is a tropical blend yogurt with peach and banana and pineapple, it is so good. And there you have it, DIY chicken tacos. My next lunch idea is perfect if you're looking for some comfort food or if it's a chilly day. I've already added some boiling hot water to my thermos and now I'm gonna heat up a mug full of my creamy tomato basil soup. This is actually a copycat recipe from the tomato basil soup at Disneyland and I have a separate video with the recipe. If you'd like to check that out, I will link it down below. Now nothing goes better with tomato soup than a yummy grilled cheese. But for this grilled cheese, I'm not using regular old white bread. I'm gonna use some sourdough bread. Where we live in California, we have excellent sourdough bread. We're quite close to San Francisco. 
Oh yes, and for today's grilled cheese, I'm using three different kinds of cheeses. Starting with a garden vegetable cream cheese. Now if you've never tried cream cheese inside a grilled cheese sandwich, you definitely should try it. It's really good. To that, I'm also adding some Havarti cheese and some cheddar. Now that our soup is nice and hot, I'm gonna add it to the thermos. And while our sandwich is toasting up, I'm gonna add some fruit salad. This is honeydew melon, strawberries, and blueberries. For our vegetable today, I'm keeping it really simple, just some celery. And here it is, our yummy grilled cheese. Now the grilled cheese is not gonna stay hot and that's totally fine, but I am gonna go ahead and cut this sandwich into sticks. That way the sandwich can be dipped down into the hot tomato soup. It is the perfect combination. In the separate container, I'm going to add some veggie straws, followed by some of these delicious almond butter granola bites. And these are the toasted coconut ones. And then lastly, since this is a teen lunch, I wanted to add one more thing. And no, this is not applesauce, it's not yogurt. This is actually a chia seed fruit smoothie. There are so many healthy ingredients in there, yet it tastes really good. And there you have it. Let me know in the comments down below if you're a fan of grilled cheese and tomato soup. Now since these are teen inspired lunches, I definitely wanted to include some form of pizza because I'm pretty sure most teens love pizza. At least I did when I was a teen. But for today, I'm keeping it super simple. I'm gonna start with some crescent dough. There's lots of different varieties and you can use any kind that you like. These are really easy and they're really fast. I'm just adding a little bit of pizza sauce. You don't want to add too much, otherwise it's going to be a big mess. Next, I'm adding three pieces of turkey pepperoni, followed by half of a mozzarella cheese stick. And then all you have to do is roll it up and pinch in the ends. Now before I stick these into the oven, I do like to sprinkle a little bit of Italian seasoning all over the top. I'm gonna add these to a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes. While those are in the oven, I'm gonna add a melon salad. I have cantaloupe, honeydew, and watermelon in there. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some carrots, and then I want to add a few more things to these stackable containers. First up, I have another new item from Boom Chicka Pop, and no, this is not sponsored, but Boom Chicka Pop, if you're listening, give me a call, we can work something out. Anyway, this is the Boom Chicka Pop Trail Mix in the Tex-Mex flavor. So there's peanuts, chili lime corn nuggets, there's chili lime almonds and pretzels in there, of course there's popcorn, it's an interesting combination, but it's not too spicy. And then in the other container, I'm just gonna put a handful of green grapes. When the pizza rolls are done, I'm going to let them cool completely before I add them to the lunchbox. Next, I'm gonna add in the pizza rolls. I think two is a good amount. And then in the separate container, I'm gonna add a little bit of maple yogurt and a special treat. These are called brownie brittle. So they taste just like a brownie, but they're crunchy. Okay guys, definitely let me know which one of these lunches was your favorite. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.